I think the most likely Brexit option at the moment is that we leave without a deal. And I think the second most likely is that the Prime Minister's deal is tweaked and then manages to get through. I don't think the proponents of remaining in the EU have the political courage or support to put the, push that policy through. And it's very interesting how few politicians are willing to stand up and say that. Now, I happen to think that those calling for delay actually want to stop and thwart Brexit, likewise those calling for a second referendum. But they dare not say that they want to go further than that because they know how strong the reaction from the electorate would be if they were seen as trying to overturn a democratic vote. Mystic Meg is a better forecaster than I am, and I'm never too convinced by horoscopes, but I think it's highly unlikely that my side of the argument will win this evening. But that is not the, the legal default. So Brilliant, you're quite right. <laughs> that's the key point. And that's Does the it thing. Matter? Why are we even having this discussion? Why are that's we right. This vote? Absolutely right. That this does not change the law. And we have a very important constitutional system that the law is changed by a series of readings, committee stage, report stage, and the House of Commons, the same thing then in the House of Lords, and then Royal Assent. This is a detailed, thorough process. House of Commons passes motions every day of the week on important things and on trivial things, but these are not the law. If the House of Commons could rule by decree, we would be in a dictatorship rather than in a democracy, and it's simply not how our systems work. It would be arbitrary government. Um, so the House of Commons by motion cannot overturn the law, and that's quite right and very important. If it wants to change the law, it has to introduce a bill, and there is no prospect, I don't think, of getting a bill through to reverse Brexit between now and the 29th of March.